What's up guys, Dustin Heiner here with Master Passive Income. Now, business credit is something that you must build if you have any sort of business, especially if you have a real estate investing business. I started my business credit back in 2007 when I first started building my businesses. Now I have many different businesses and each one has their own credit, their own ability to get and borrow money. Now, what business credit basically is, is you as a person, you have a social security number. If you go and get a loan, you give whatever broker, the mortgage broker, your social security number, they run your credit. They make sure that you have a good credit score. Let's say if you have a 500 credit score, that's not looking very good. If you have a 750, that looks much better. So that's your credit score for yourself as a person. Now your business also can and should, not always, will have, but it should have business credit. That's if you start a business and then you actually do something that actually gets and establishes your credit. Now, there's so before I get into exactly how to do it, let me give you some benefits on why you should have business credit. A great reason why you should have business credit is because it builds the value of your company. Your company is actually worth more if you have good credit. A company would actually buy other companies just to get their business credit. I know a friend of mine sold his business and the main reason why this other company who bought his business wanted it was because they can utilize the credit that that business had. Also flexibility in your business to utilize your credit as opposed to cash because we all know cash is king. And if you run out of cash in your business, you literally run out of your business. Your business is not good anymore if you don't have any cash. And so if you are able to utilize your credit, if you're able to dip into that credit, utilize credit to build manufacturing, to buy another property, to do anything in your business, you're actually able to use other people's money. I personally love using other people's money because it helps grow my business so much faster. It also allows you to have flexibility over your cash. Let's say you needed to buy inventory and you had $100,000 in cash, you need to buy $150,000 in inventory to run your business. Well, you could put that $100,000 down, but what if you borrowed $150,000 in business credit? Now, the great thing about business credit on top of everything else is it's not literally attached to you as a person. It's attached to your business. So if they, the creditors actually come after the business, come after the loan, they can't necessarily come after you. Now, they possibly can. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a lawyer. But I'm saying that they go after the business. Business credit also provides you the ability to have money in your business to flow in and out. It's not cash flow like you're making money, but it's the flow of money. Because you got to make money, then you spend money to make money. Then you make money, then you spend money to make money. Like if you're buying inventory, you need to have money to be able to buy that inventory to make more money, to make a profit, to buy more inventory, and so on and so forth. As well as your credit limit is so much higher for a business credit. Now, you as a person might get a credit card, ten or $15,000, maybe twenty dollars or $30,000 is probably where you're going to get the highest that you're going to get. But if you have business credit, you can have $100,000. $200,000, $300,000 in credit or more, so you have a much, much higher credit limit. On top of that, you're more than likely gonna get better interest rates than if you had a regular personal credit card or personal credit. You're gonna get better interest rates because they really want to, banks really wanna do business with companies because those companies actually make them a lot of money because they're borrowing so much money from those banks. You also have better terms for the repayment of these loans. If you have a credit card or if you actually got a loan from a company, you have better terms and you are able to actually utilize that money even better. On top of that, like I said, it's literally not attached to you as a person. So I have business credit. I have bought many properties with my business credit. I've even refinanced properties. I'll give you an example. I literally have five properties that I bundled into one commercial loan that utilizes my business credit all those properties bundled together, I pulled out all that money and then I bought more properties with it. But because of that having business credit, I was able to utilize that. Now the thing people might say, well, if you buy 10 rental properties, you can't get another loan. Like you can't get 11 loans. The IRS stops you or the government stops you from getting 11 loans. I completely agree. But what you can do, here's a huge pro tip. You can actually take and bundle a bunch of properties together. Let's say bundle five properties together in a commercial loan that frees up five slots for a new mortgage for each one of those properties. So commercial loans are fantastic, but you need business credit in order to get commercial loans. Another great thing is you actually have two separate credit histories. In fact, every single business that has its own line of credit, its own credit history, it's actually gonna be separate than your own personal. So if you have personal credit, 
and let's say you missed a payment and it dings your credit, that history looks bad, but your business credit is not gonna have that missed payment. It's not gonna have that ding. So that credit history is separate, completely separate. Another fantastic thing is the signing bonus for a business credit card is so much greater. I'll give you an example. I personally got a credit card, a personal credit card for American Airlines. I think they gave me like 20,000 airline miles, but I got a, maybe a month later, two months later, a business credit card uh, offer for a business credit card. They said 60,000 credits or airline miles if I opened a business credit card with them. Well, no kidding, I absolutely did. And I even got my wife her own business credit card. We had two credit cards with 60,000 miles, 60,000 miles on them. That was 120,000 miles together. We literally flew from Phoenix to Florida and a round trip ticket for all six of us in our family utilizing that business credit airline miles. And that was like $2,500 in flights because we flew from Phoenix to Florida, drove up to New York on a four week trip because we don't have to work. I have rental properties, which is fantastic. But we flew from Washington DC all the way back to Phoenix and that was $2,500 safe. So you're basically gonna get so much more benefits if you have business credit. So you get more airline miles, you get more cash back, you get more startup rewards, you get more perks, you get more everything with business credit. And you might be thinking, how do I actually establish business credit so that I can start creating it and utilize it and get all these great perks and utilize all this great stuff? Well, the first thing you need to do is talk to your lawyer and talk to your accountant. Like talk to them first. I'm not your lawyer. I'm not an accountant either. I'm not either one of those. So talk to them. But secondly, you need to start an LLC, a limited liability company. You can start it in any state. It's really, really very simple. In fact, I have in the link in the description a way for you to really inexpensively start your LLC as well as you need the second thing is your EIN number. So number one, start your LLC. Number two, get an EIN number. This EI number is the employer identification number. What that is, it's basically your social security number for your business. You know, you have a social security number and EIN number is a number for credit for your business. And you get that through the IRS. It's super, super simple to actually do it. They actually have an online process that you actually go through. Just literally type in a search, an internet search, type in EIN number apply and just make sure you're on the IRS uh, website. There's plenty of scammers out there that'll charge you a lot of money when it's actually free to do it. So you wanna get the EIN number. If you have both of those, then every single time that you do anything in the business, you always put down your EIN number instead of your social security number. So normally it's a, you know, you're applying for this credit card, what's your social security number? Well, instead of putting that, you put your EIN number. Obviously put your corporation or your LLC name down there as well, but every single time you do that, you're establishing your credit. You're also making sure, and here's a big thing with, with any debt, make sure you pay it off on time. Pay it off on time and you'll get good credit history. With that good credit history, they're gonna say, hey, you know what, You know Dustin's company, he makes a lot of money. He also pays back a lot of money in debt, which is good. I want to lend money to them. So that's what you wanna do is start doing that. And honestly, and this is a big pro tip, the sooner you create a business and sooner you get an EIN number, EIN number now, even if you're not gonna use it for any other part of your business, it's better because you're start establishing it now. You're starting it now. So in 2008, when I first started my business, I think it was 2007, when I first started my business, I got all that started. Now, 12 years later, I literally have so much business credit that I have so many offers for this, that, and the other. And anytime I get any business credit, they just literally give me as much as I can get. I have one credit card that's like $200,000. I'm like, I don't need that much, but I could buy a property with that. Now, there's also a fantastic company that I would refer you to that actually establishes your LLC, that will create your EIN number, actually get you business credit for you and actually have it so you can actually have cash in your hands from your business credit. The company is called Fund and Grow. Fund and, Fund and Grow is a great company. I've ever referred many, many people over there. They get business credit for many, many people. Now what they do is they actually get business credit cards and you can actually take those out in a line of credit and utilize those. You can even get cash out, you can do wire transfers, it's a great company and I, I even have a promo code for you. Check in the description for the promo code. If you use my promo code Master Passive Income on the application for Fund & Grow, it'll actually give you $500 off their entire process. Now I am an affiliate of theirs. They don't pay me any extra money. It actually doesn't charge, cost you any money. They did actually give you a discount if you utilize my affiliate code. So check in the link in the description. Use that promo code Master Passive Income, all one word. It'll give you $500 off on Fund & Grow. But they will literally start your LLC. 
They'll get your EIN number. They'll apply for the credit. They'll literally do everything and then you'll have business credit and have cash in your hand. Here's another thing I just gotta tell you. When I go and get a cell phone, because I have a real estate investing business, I invest in rental properties, I buy properties, they make me $250 in passive income. If you wanna learn how to actually do it, I have a link in the description to get my free real estate investing course, masterpassiveincome.com forward slash free course. Get my free real estate investing course. I'll show you how to find properties, how to fund, get money for the property, how to do it right, how to make $250 in passive income, making it an automatic business and quit your job. So get my free real estate investing course. Now, with my one rental property, and I have 30 now, but if you just buy one rental property, you have a business. I went and bought cell phones. Now, here's the great thing. If I went myself and as a personal person and bought a cell phone from Verizon, AT&T, they'll give me some perks, but I got so much more, so many more perks as a business owner with business credit. In fact, they said, hey, do you have a business? Yes, I have a business. They gave me an extra $200 off every single one of my phones. On top of that, they even lowered my total rate. I think it was gonna be like $120 a month for the phones. I went down to like $90 a month because I was use, utilizing my business credit. So not just the fact that you actually get better credit, you actually get so many more perks as well as your business as actually having less expenses because you have that business credit. Other ways to establish really, really good credit is to actually establish trade credit with other companies. Now, remember, you have your EIN number. Now, let's say you work with a company that allows, extends credit out to you. Like Uline is a company that sells boxes. Uline, U-L-I-N-E. They sell boxes. Now, you can just open up an account and work with them and put your credit with them, your business credit with them, just having it with them and you not missing any payments, you're gonna be building your business credit. So just like if you are starting out, like what you would tell your kids, if they wanna start establishing their own personal credit, what they're gonna do is they're actually going to get a gas card. You'll go to a gas station, get a credit card, make sure you pay your bills on time and that'll build your credit because you have credit history. Same thing, exact same thing. You can absolutely do that. Even like office supplies, Cool Office Supplies also has a line of credit for businesses. So you give them your business information, they will give you a line of credit, and then you will actually buy things, pay it off, and then you establish your credit. So you get better credit in your business as you utilize credit, just like if you did your personal credit. Another thing you can do is establish retail credit. Like if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, because we're real estate investors, we buy rental properties, you can actually go to Lowe's and get a business credit card and put your credit card information down there for your EIN number. So what you're gonna be utilizing is your EIN number and everything so that it continually builds that business credit. When you are building your business credit, make sure you're paying off your credit every single month. You don't wanna get more interest and get tacked on interest and go into debt. Make sure you pay it off. That's a huge tip I'm gonna give you. If you keep paying it off, you're gonna be growing your credit history as well as you're not gonna be going into debt. You're gonna be able to borrow more money. See, I borrow money to buy rental properties. Those rental properties make me money. Just like another business would borrow money to buy inventory. That inventory makes them money when they sell it. Same exact thing. So remember, I want you guys to get my free real estate investing course. Check the link in the description, masterpassiveincome.com forward slash free course, as well as subscribe to this channel. I'm giving you so much great business advice, as well as show you how to invest in real estate. And watch this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one.